All right, part five. We I just ended it off here, which probably isn't a good idea, but let's see what happens. Holy shit! Okay, yeah, I had that one coming. Take a minute. Come on. Gosh. What do I have to do again? Do I have to open that door again? Three. Six, seven. Nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Damn it. Three, six, seven, nine. Come on, I already know this. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. Just Spartan kick. Oh, my lord. Three, six, seven, nine. Three, six, seven, nine. There we go. Oops. Come on. 209. Ah, what a drag. Come on, sissy. It's time to go. <sighs> Why don't they? J I just don't understand. You know what? I need to stop like trying to say that because like that's the whole point of the game. They're supposed to be done. Oh shit. <laughs> That's when shit hits the fan. Oh, did I not save it? Damn it, I forgot to save it. Oh, run, 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 run! Oh, shit! How am I supposed to do that? Come on. Three, three six, seven, nine. Time. 
Enter. There we go. Grab that. Then we'll save it right when we get through the sissy thing. So that I can figure this out. I'm on a mission. Get on with it! I wish there was a way to cut, like, skip all this. Come on, come on. There we go. Is that? Is that period blood? supposed to dodge that? Am I not supposed to go down there? Oh, and she meant... Am I supposed to grab that glass over there and hit him? the alcohol. Aha, uh -huh, I knew it, or I didn't know it, but... <laughs> but I slowed it down, I bet. No, I didn't slow it down. But I'm on to some. I'm on to something. I keep going around and uh, hitting it in the head with those glass or bottles, yeah. I gotta do something! Whack! Use the beer bottles. I don't think this will do much more for me. I gotta find something else. The glass! Oh! <laughs> uh, what am I supposed to grab? I grabbed one bottle. Do I have anything in my inventory? Oh, the lighter! Jeez, it's as strong as a... Uh... The alcohol is really strong, so maybe I can just light him on fire. I'm so smart. Take this! I warned you! <laughs> Thank you. 
Oh yeah, now that he's covered in alcohol, he should be flammable. Yep, there we go. It's that simple. What the hell is that thing? Why is he chasing me? How did it survive before? I might need something to defend myself. Even just a knife could really help. Was there one of those around? A knife? Yeah, there is. In the, uh... In that cafeteria-looking area. Dang, this is getting exciting. How do I use it? Fruit knife. Oh, there it is. Uh-oh. Did someone have an sissy? Oh, shoot. Why do I follow it? Oh, wish it is her. Sissy, what are you doing here? Whoa, your arm's bleeding. Is it, so is it, it was your blood. Were, were you hurt? Hey, I'm caught on something. No big deal, don't worry about it. It's bleeding a lot, and you've been resting here. Right. What if you get anemia? I'm just a little... I'm just a little tired. Blah, 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 blah. Give me your hand, sissy. I have a handkerchief, so I can at least wrap it up. I guess this is better than nothing. Does it hurt? It's fine, thank you. You're so kind, David. You don't seem so well. Did something happen? Oh, it's nothing. I've just been so silly. Silly? It's silly that I'm wandering this in this dark place all alone, falling in holes, cutting my arm, all to find a measly box. <laughs> measly, but it's important. A memento from your boyfriend. Well, he's my ex, to be exact. Oh, he died? Huh? Oh, but while we were dating, this hotel was our special place. That was when I lost the box. I've been worried about it ever since, but I only just worked up the courage to come look. I thought I could forget everything about him, but it was no good. Coming here just brought back all these memories. Why did you break up? <laughs> Damn, he's really bold. I don't know. Maybe that's why I won't give up. He said he appreciated my kindness, but when we broke up, he said it was all I had, and he was exactly right, so I couldn't reply. I really am a wimp. No wonder he'd break up with me. Even I'd hate a girl like me. Damn. Sorry, I know I'm annoying you. I'll just rest here a while longer. I'm a little dizzy. Thanks for your help, David. Oh, and here. I found this. I'm not sure where it goes, though. Thanks. Don't strain yourself, okay? Well, I'm going. Well, uh... She definitely is... Why are you always like this, David? Like, like what? You're always such a yes man, just going with the flow. Do you even have a personality? I don't mean to. I mean, I try to think for myself. I don't see that. I don't see it that way. You're not kind. You're just indecisive. You treat everyone else the same way, right? 
That's why I can't trust you. Look, please just listen. I'm always thinking of you. If I'm in pain, then I'm sorry. There you go again, thinking you can just apologize and everything will be fine. You don't understand a word I'm saying. The, then what should I do? You just don't trust me, is that it? Maybe it's hopeless for us. I hate it. I hate for it to end this way, but I think we would both be better off staying. Or we'd be worse off. Okay. Thanks for everything, David. Bye. Wait! We can't talk this out? Surely! Kindness is all you have. Sissy and I are the same like that timidly refusing to forget. The moment I realized she didn't love me, I felt like I was nothing but worthless. I wonder if Sissy felt that way too. <laughs> Dang. Oh well. It seems like our boy, uh, David, got himself a girl. Oh shoot. Something in the fountain. Andy's pretty bold. A box. Maybe it's the one Sissy lost. It must be. It's decorated with rubies. Did someone throw it away or here or what? Man, I'm glad I found it. I'll get this to Sissy pronto. Well, good for, uh, him. You know? Now we can get out of here. For the plot, anyway. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Huh? Did Sissy leave already? But she she's wounded. <laughs> Sissy! Sissy! Ah! No! Stay away from me! Stop right there! Back off, monster! David! Oh, yikes. Damn it! Sissy, get out of the hotel! David, where are you? I said run away, I'll take care of this. Hey monster, I don't know what the hell you are, but don't you lay a finger on Sissy. Why do they have to choose the name Sissy? Why? Z to attack. Oh shit! Oh no! Dang, this game's getting interesting. Oh shit, what happened? David! Did I die? David! David, are you okay? Yeah, I don't think you'll chase us anymore. But never mind me, are you okay? I'm fine. I'm not hurt. But... Sissy, what's wrong? Are you not feeling well? Why? Why did this happen? Why did I have to go through this? Why did that horrible monster attack me? I... I just didn't even want to forget him. I just want to have my memory of him at least. It's because I'm such a wimp. Is that why this is ha this happened? I can't, I cannot even love him. No, I hate it. Someone, somebody help. Sissy. What's wrong being a wimp? 
What's wrong being with a wimp? Huh? You may feel like a sissy for not being able to forget him, but is that such a bad thing? David? You know, I was dumped a few months ago, too. I was sure we were going to get married. You too? I was rejected. Dejected. Even now, it still pains me. I don't think I can truly forget it. I've always hated how much I was such a coward. I'm a miserable excuse for a man, especially in romance. It could have easily happened when my friend got married, and it made me hate myself more and more. But looking at you, I've come to think, maybe it's not bad keeping this thinking to keep thinking about someone. In fact, maybe it's a wonderful thing. Ugh. Very romantic. I decided I wouldn't give up either. And it's thanks to you, sissy. Thank you. David? She's just like, oh, I like you like a brother. This is your treasure, right? It's a pretty fancy box. It'd be a shame to be thrown away. Take good care of it. I'm sure the one you love will understand, and I'll always support you. Thank you, David. I'll try a little harder. I hope things go well for you, too. Perfect, let's get out. Hey, David, did the box come with a key? A key? No, I didn't see one. Strange. The box needs a key to open it, so... Though I didn't lock it... A key? Wait, hold on. Maybe the Sparrow's key? Haha, <laughs> nah, of course not. Ah, yes, that's the one. Where did you find it? What? Really? I... I picked it up around here. The key from my house opened Cece's box, so the former tent involved with the box was... What does that mean? I wonder why it was locked. Let's open it. Oh! There's a piece of paper. That's... Sissy, can I look at that? I thought so. It matches with the notebook pages, which means he's... I don't get it, but why guess... But I guess the guy you're looking for put this paper in here. Seems that way. It has an address on it. Are you going there, David? Yeah, he wasn't here, so I'll check there next. Okay, be careful. I'll escort you home, CC. It's dark out, after all. I'll be alright. Thanks enough, David. Well... I'm really thankful. Let's see each other again sometime. Damn! David got a girlfriend. That surprised me. <laughs> Dude, he's dancing on the way home. He's dancing. But she seems happier now, that's good. I feel a little more relaxed myself. This dude's gonna dance all the way home to his, like, poltergeist taunted apartment and then get his neck snapped in his sleep. Lingering scent of dreams. And this, and is this an address? Maybe that's where he is now. I'll go check it out. I've come this far. Until I find him, I'll go anywhere. Really? Like, you couldn't have just booked, like, another move out? Like, like, this is for the sake of the story of him doing this, but, like, I guess he met a girl along the way, but, like, was it really worth it? I'm, my simp detector is going off the charts. <laughs> Alright, we'll do a little bit more since I screwed up in the beginning. That was scene one? Dang. Man, this place was far. That took almost an entire day. So this is the place. Looks like the school was abandoned. No one around. Though I guess they'd be inside anyway. Let's see if I can even enter. Julia Stone Law School, set for demolition, no entry. <laughs> this school is from the leaflet. 
then maybe he is here after all. Definitely gonna need to use that eventually. Like any good horror movie, you go down in the basement. The nameplate reads Stacy Lizzie. There's a key. Infirmary key. Notice about keys. Room managers for the month. Don't lose your keys. Parlor, Stacy, Lizzie. Room reference mark. Ray Twain. John Keith. Okay. There's a lot of fire extinguishers. A memo about necessary repairs. Deep fissure in the wall behind the Easter bookshelves and the basement storehouse. Repairs needed. Criminal Law, John, Civil Law, Robinson, Cindy Peterson, Fran... Okay, so this is a college. in there. Go to bed. Go to sleep. He will go to sleep. And then that will conclude this part.